seen it yet. Yeah. Home Unknown was so good. You have to see it so you can see the part when... when... <laughs> no, no, all, all right. <laughs> look, 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 look. All right, all right. Now, you know, let's, let's get that out of business. All right, now, the city of Pittsburgh needs to come up with some kind of future transportation, all right? Now, ideas, guy, what do you got? Well, I got a pretty long list. <clears throat> As you can see here, it starts uh, right at the top oh, wow. there. And uh, it just kind of keeps going. Oh, geez. Uh, 12 pages. I didn't number them, but I uh, got a lot of them here. Well, can you pick your top three? Oh, oh uh, that's a hard one. Uh, I would say one, Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Two, Hover and Hot Dog. Three, Magic School Bus. Excellent ideas. Like to know more about each one. But before we dive into that, that was a dolphin pun, huh? Oh. Huh? oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got me. Good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Shut up. So, look, uh, we should look at the latest census to see how many people use our existing public transportation options. Now, Mrs. Matt, the numbers, please. Indeed. Uh, the 2020 census reports that there have been uh, between 80,000 and 110,000 people in the city that uh, use public transportation. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me pull up my chart here. Let's see. Can you see it yet? Oh, there it is. You got see it? it? Oh, great. Oh, I've got it. All right. Uh, my chart here shows 50% uh, uh, of the people here 50%. take the bus. Yes, yeah. 21% uh, take the T system. 12% uh, are using car share, like uh, Uber. And then 5% use the incline. 3% uh, uh, – oh, actually, sorry. It's just the 1% there uh, – use the bike share programs. And that 11% uh, floating out there, that is just the people who just didn't disclose what kind of uh, transportation they use. That certainly is a lot of people. I think that rules out your dolphin idea. Um, How about this hovering hot dog? Hmm? Uh, theoretically, it could hold like 100 people. Depends on the viscosity of the hot dog and uh, how much hover power we get funding for. You know, so many Pittsburghers using public transportation. It's uh, nearly a third of the population now, uh, which is an increase from 10% over the last census. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Math. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the increase in use, you know, we get an increase in funding. Uh, cover those people, so perhaps I've not done certainly work. cut down on traffic. Exactly. I got the idea when I was uh, stuck behind a city bus while being late taking my son to school. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, well, the other part is because I was hungry. I thought of the hot dog. Um, but you got to admit that it's the right shape to just hold a lot of people. Love the way you think, ideas guy. Uh, now, what's this magic school bus? Oh, 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 uh, well, it's a school bus uh, that magically flies like Santa's sleigh. Or like the school bus from that magic school bus program. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I haven't heard of it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you haven't. What? Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing already. So, look, I think, uh, I think the winner is the hovering hot dog. Needs a slogan so we can pitch it to the mayor. Oh, 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 I think I've got it. <laughs> meet the future of transportation <laughs> uh, or uh don't be a wiener uh use the hovering hot dog to get to work uh, or uh cut down on car fumes with uh the sweet smell of our hovering hot dog oh i got it what's hot in the future of transit service the hovering oh. hot dog oh. the hovering hot dog that's it that's it <laughs> that's, that's it <laughs> uh, uh, is anyone else hungry yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you mention it. Mm -hmm.